the Night Acolyte. Nadia Orville is a member of Doomday's cult, Knight of the Hunter, and founder Isaac Powell's right-hand fighter. An orphan with nothing to lose, she's a brute in a fight and made all the more frightening by the occult symbols drawn on her clothing in the blood of her victims. The Black Coat William Durant is a hunter, a scoundrel, and a murderer with a complicated past, loyal solely to himself and lacking even a shred of honor. When his friend Metis Monica is only spat out alongside promises of vengeance. Carcass Gunrunner, a butcher, clandestine arms dealer, and hobby apothecarist. Jason Travers is a brutal hunter and known for being coldly logical and unhinged enough that his opponents never know what to expect. A vital asset to the hunter cause, Travers could import any firearm from the world over without import tax, provided it fit into a carcass. The Night Seer, originally initiated into the hunt by a small group of militiamen, Isaac Powell was changed by the vision of the impending end of the world and second coming. He founded the Knight of the Hunter, a blood cult whose members believe that the blood of the creatures they hunt is holy, and adorn themselves with it in the belief that it will save them from death in this world, and buy them redemption in the next. Sheriff Harden During the early days of the infection, Sheriff Wayne Harden was instrumental in halting the rapid spread of the infection. However, the inmates he recruited to be hunters proved unreliable, and as the events spiraled out of control, he found himself putting many of them back under arrest. Redshirt After having drunk too much whiskey one night, Jonathan Redshirt accepted a bet from his companions to enter the bayou with a target on his back. If he made it out alive, the bet went. He'd be given the deeds to some land out west. Daredevil or fool, only his tombstone will tell. The Revenant As a young man, Reverend Isham Gerd came to the bayou to save the souls of the innocent. As the infection took hold, he witnessed his congregation tear each other apart in Healing Waters Church. Barely escaping with his life, he vowed to rid the swamp of its denizens.